Previously, we described a repeater as helping with the problem of line of sight in conventional communications. If you've got two radios that want to communicate and there's a hilltop in the way, there's no line of sight. So one way of overcoming that is to put a repeater at the top of the hill. One radio communicates up to the repeater, that's called uplink, and then the repeater repeats that transmission down to the radio on the other side of the hill. That's called downlink. But actually, repeaters are used even where there are no hills in the way. They're used to extend range. The repeater is an extremely powerful radio, so we had Portable radios that work in 5 watts, mobile radios that work in 25 watts or, or more. And then we've got repeaters that are even more powerful radios that are located generally fixed at particular geographical locations or sites. These repeaters are often in the 50 to 100 watt range. They may be in their own special hut at these sites or they may be in some type of enclosure. And they're cable connected to antenna systems, which are either mounted on steel towers or on masts or simply somehow fixed to the top of the building. In this way, mobile radios and portables can take advantage of the greater power available and the larger size of the antennas that the repeaters are connected to to extend the range of communication over extremely wide areas. So a collection of repeaters connected together provide mobile and portable radio users coverage over an extremely wide area, thus extending the range of communications.